Hey there, I'm just going to give you a really quick tour around the Habit Planner to show you some of the features and also how to customize a couple things. So the basic gist of it is that you can go ahead and identify 10 habits that you want to work on developing over the course of the year and then use this grid format to track your progress. So all you'll do is come in on Sunday, the 1st of January and check off any of the habits that you completed that day. Same thing the next day. And on Monday morning, you'll do the same. And you'll see that as I'm doing this, the emojis down here at the bottom are changing. So as soon as I complete five or more habits a day, it's gonna turn to this flame for being on fire. Um, so you can kind of see how those change. And then you can see over here, it's tracking how many I've completed total, what my goal for the month is, which you'll set yourself. You can just go in here and edit these at the beginning of each month. Um, and then it's also going to show you your progress. And so, that bar kind of will change color as you complete more of the habit each month. So that's that. And then over here on the settings tab is where we can customize a couple things. So this is going to be tracking your overall annual progress. So it's showing you how many of that task or how many of that habit you've completed so far this year, what your goal for the year is and what your progress towards that goal is. And so if you want to change any of the habits, you can just change them here. So if you want to edit this one to run, you can go ahead and change it here. If you want, you can delete the emojis out of here if you'd rather not have them show up. However you want those habits to show up on the whole spreadsheet is where you change them here. And any changes made here will show up back here on every month automatically. The other thing that you can alter if you want to is the ratings. So right now, depending on how many habits you complete, it's going to show you these emojis at each level. If you want to change these or customize them, go ahead. So that's basically all you really need to do to get it set up and working. And I think that's pretty much all that you really need to know about it. It's pretty simple and straightforward, but a lot of fun to use.